Wiring up things like graphs and live scope on your boat can be somewhat of a challenging task, but we've created some new electrical kits that are going to get you well on your way and cut out all of the stress and headache of trying to figure out exactly what you need. Stick around and I'll walk you through these brand new graph electrical wiring kits from Tiny Boat Nation. And in these two kits, all of the hardware and connectors are the same. The only difference is how much wire you get. We have a 25 foot kit that's good for putting a graph up front and maybe a graph in the back or a 50 foot kit that's going to allow you to wire up multiple graphs front and back of the boat and install some type of 3D imaging or Active Target or any other brands out there. The wire that we use is duplex 10 gauge. By duplex, it means it has two 10 gauge wires, a positive and a negative inside of this white casing here. The casing is UV, oil and gas resistant. And the wiring itself is multi-strand tin copper, which, which means that it is rated for marine use, both fresh and salt water, and you'll never have to worry about it corroding and causing connection issues later on down the road. For your particular application, you'll need to measure your boat out and see how many graphs and black boxes and active targets and live scopes you want to add, figure out which kits you need so that you get the appropriate amount of wire to suit your boat. As far as the hardware goes, you're going to start off with your main battery on off switch. This is a marine rated one off one on battery switch. You're going to put this on your main power line in between your battery and your fuse block. Speaking of fuse block, that is the next item included in this kit. We have a marine rated six pin fuse block. By six pin, we mean it has six individual circuits, both six positives and six negatives, so that you can run six total circuits off of this one fuse block for all of your graphs and electrical products to help you find more fish. A really cool feature of this fuse block is each one of these circuits has LED indicator lights next to it, which will illuminate if the fuse ever blows in this fuse block. So you don't have to go running around pulling all these fuses out looking at them in the light to see if that fusible link has been broken this will illuminate and tell you that there's a problem with one of the fuses in this fuse block. It comes with a removable snap-on cover and it has little places on the front where you can label which one of these goes to which one of your graphs or electronic accessories that you choose to add onto this fuse block. To round out the kit, we've got all of your electrical connectors that you're going to need to make this install a breeze. First up, we've got some 3 8 inch ring terminals that have included heat shrink on them. These ring terminals are going to be used to connect from your battery over to your main cutoff switch and then from your cutoff switch over to your fuse block. We've also included some quarter inch ring terminals that also have the heat shrink built into them and these will be used to connect your power wire going from your battery on off switch to your fuse block and you're only going to need a couple of these ring terminals to complete this install but we've included extras in the kit so that if you make a mistake slip up while you're doing your crimp or you cut your wire too short and the crimp doesn't make a good connection you've got a few extras just in case up next we've got some number 10 ring terminals these are going to be used to connect your graph positive and negative wires to your fuse block now you're probably not going to need all 12 that come in this kit and that's why we've included 12 so that you have a few extras just in case there's a mistake or if you want to add some more on later they're already here for you last but not least you got some 10 gauge butt connectors and these also have heat shrink built into them so you can do a real nice clean install there's more than you'll probably Probably ever need but we have them in the kit just in case you need them later on now all of these connections are all tin copper so you won't have to worry about any kind of corrosion issues later on down the road and the built-in heat shrink helps keep all of your connections watertight you can find these over at tbnation.net I've got a link down below in the description box if you want to check that out if you have any questions our contact information is down there as well